We turn now to the devastation in Hawaii. At least 36 people are dead and hundreds of structures are destroyed as wildfires rage along the western edge of Maui. Tonight, most of the fires are still not contained. And as Mike Valeria reports, there are fears the losses could get even worse. It's completely devastating. We're shook to our core. Lahaina looks like a bomb went off. There is nothing left. The toll to life and property in Maui nearly impossible to comprehend. Laren Gartner lost her popular restaurant, a nearby brewery, and her condo. But that's not her biggest concern right now. We don't know where our employees are and we haven't been able to find them. With the death toll rising, officials worry the devastation will intensify as flames consume more of the island by the hour. Yet forecasters say fire crews could soon catch a break with high winds from passing Hurricane Dora easing Thursday. I've directed my team to operate and search as though there are potentially people, survivors, that are in the water. The Coast Guard has already rescued several people forced into the sea by the fires. Thousands more have fled by air. We really appreciate what the airlines have done, bringing in larger, larger planes to ensure we get more seats to get more people off the island. For those still there, the cry for more federal help grows louder. I feel like we're not getting the help we need, you know? Oh my God. We're working as quickly as possible to fight these fires and evacuate residents and tourists. Our prayers with the people of Hawaii, but not just our prayers. Every asset we have will be available to them. Until then. We're only focusing on survival. In Honolulu, I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Right now, people are being evacuated from the island. A connecting flight from Maui landed this afternoon at DIA. Now we caught up with a passenger coming back from vacation right as the fires erupted. We were supposed to leave in the morning, then it got put off the afternoon. Our flight then got canceled. We got put on another plane. Flight attendants were stuck in the hotel in Lahaina because the fire was surrounding them. And a FEMA administrator is drawing comparisons between the devastation in Hawaii and the Marshall Fire here in Colorado. Just the devastation itself are certainly going to bring challenges. It reminds me very much of the fire that we saw in Boulder, Colorado uh, at the end of 2021, where an entire community um, was burned to the ground, spread by excessive winds like we're seeing from this fire. And FEMA officials estimate thousands of people on Maui are displaced in the wake of these horrible fires. And there are ways that you can help the people of Maui. Hawaii's governor is urging people to donate to the Hawaii Community Foundation. And the website is listed there at the bottom of your screen. And money donated will help support communities that are directly impacted by these fires.